This is a continuation of the nomenclature of unsaturated compounds. When it comes to a three carbons lone alkyne, we do not need to include the position of the triple bond as it is understood that it is carbon number one. After four carbons, we must include what is the position of the triple bond, like in the case of one butane and one pentane. In this case, it is four carbons long, therefore it is B-U-T, and the family name is Y-N-E for the family of alkyne. And increasing in one carbon, now we have one pentane. There are two different kinds of alkynes. We have terminal alkynes like 1-butyne and internal alkynes like 2-butyne. In all cases, we must always remember to label the hydrocarbon chain assigning the smallest possible number to the carbon-carbon triple bond. So we must start always at the end that is near the unsaturation. We have the molecule of 2 pentine and we also have the molecule of 2 octine OTC because it is 8 carbons long. This is another example of a terminal alkyne. It is a 1 hexane because it is 6 carbons long and it has the triple bond in between carbon number 1 and 2. It is a 5-methyl because it has a methyl group attached to carbon number 5. Now I want to compare this molecule with the isomer of 5-methyl 1-hexane. This one is a terminal alkyne with 6 carbons long. This is an internal alkyne with 6 carbons long. In the first case, the carbon-carbon triple bond is at the end, so it's easy to assign that is carbon number one. On the second case, the triple bond is at the same distance from the end. If we explore here, one, two, three, and one, two, three, but we need to assign the triple bond the smallest number and also assign the smallest number to the branch a methyl group. In this case, this will be a 2-methyl-3-hexane. 